sake, whatever is going on? Oh, hello, Watson. You're early. Did you kill all of your patients? What? Clones? Where have all these wretched bees come from? I increased the temperature of the room so as to prevent them from hibernating. I needed to take a sample of honey. But it worked, Watson. We will have honey all year round. Ridiculous and dangerous. They are domestic bees. Apis mellifera, such industrious workers. Anyway, Watson, I am sorry, but I must leave you. I'm in rather a hurry. You have a new case? Yes, but nothing as thrilling as this experiment. A theft of plants at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew. I'm helping a minister who's an old friend of mine. You can join me if you like. Well, I'll admit that I'd far rather accompany you than remain alone here with these workers of yours. Besides, you'll need a helping hand with the flowers you're intending to bring back. Watson, however did you guess? For the great Sherlock Holmes to bother with the theft of plants. Come on, admit that you're planning to spoil your little bees with some rare pollens. <laughs> Since when did I become so transparent? Let us go. Well, Holmes, here we are at the Royal Botanic Gardens. There's no doubt that this place is beautiful. But are you really intent on investigating the theft of the plants? Yes, of course. Don't touch anything else, is that clear? Just go and get a bucket of fertilizer. And without turning it over this time, Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? If you are here for a visit, please do come back on Sunday. I am afraid that it cannot wait. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. We are investigating the theft of plants that took place here five days ago. A remarkable collection, I believe. So you're the one in charge, eh? A small favor for a friend. Now to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? I am Martin Hamish. I am the deputy director of Kew Gardens, and that fellow yonder is Albert. He works here. I am delighted to meet you. What can you tell us about the plants? They were rare and exceptional plants. We presented them at our last exhibition. We haven't removed the stand yet. It is still in the large glass house. We only learned of their disappearance the evening after the exhibition, and nobody saw anything. No doors were forced? No. But I would imagine that for a thief it would be fairly easy to gain entry, for there are no guards here. Well, if you don't mind, we will take a look. Now, you say that it is in the large glass house. Yes, the one just behind me. Just a second, since Albert has nothing else to do. Albert, show these gentlemen where the exhibition was held. How many people work here? Only myself, but occasionally two students, Albert, whom you have met, and Miss White. Here it is. This is the place where the stolen plants were exhibited. Thank you. Is there something the matter? 
Yes, there is. All right, the plants were valuable and rare, but it seems to me that the tragedy that took place here only two days ago has been entirely forgotten already. What tragedy are you referring to? My... the director of Kew Gardens, Mr. Montague Dunn. He died here just two days ago. We're very sorry. We were not aware. The two of you were good friends? He... he was my father. Oh dear, our condolences. We should not be troubling you. Please do excuse us for the intrusion. You say that he died here, in the large glass house? Holmes? Yes, just here, near the door to the colonial collection. He suffered a heart attack, just like that, so suddenly. It was terrible. Excuse me, gentlemen, but I cannot remain here. If you need me, I'll be in the reserve. That's the room next to the front of the large greenhouse. Of course, we understand. Do not touch. The plants were here. All of them were stolen. Here is a list of the stolen plants. According to Albert, this is where his father, Montague Dunn, was found dead. The traces are thinner in some places. These boot marks are fresh. It appears as though someone was dragging their feet. The footprints reveal that someone staggered here. The door was smashed at shoulder height. This door handle is new. It was recently changed. The esconson was breached near the handle. The door was forced from the inside of the colonial collection room. The handle was changed afterwards. I think we need to inspect the... Soil. It should have come from a flower pot. Soil. It should have come from a flower pot. Fragments of a flower pot. It fell down here. This pot was broken fairly recently. A flower pot recently fell down from these shelves and was misplaced. This sign is broken. Something heavy was dropped upon it. Blood. Someone fell violently against this sign and they were injured in the clash. Most likely a head wound. All the clues around here are quite suspicious. I need my imagination to make sense of it all. Very strange. Half of the colonial collection is absent. This is one of the outlets of the ventilation system.
This broken fragment was the result of a heavy blow. A fragment of marble, most likely chipped from a statue or sculpture. The smell is strong. It is a detergent. No, it wasn't like that. This reconstruction reveals a disturbing fact. Montague Dunn damaged the door of the colonial collection room. He was in a panic, or the door was locked. Was it an accident, or a murder then, I wonder? I think we need to inspect the colonial collection room. These windows were perfectly cleaned. Part of this greenhouse was emptied and thoroughly cleaned. According to this, they have light and moisture control in some parts of the building. These plants come from all the territories of the British Empire. According to this, they have light and moisture control in some parts of the building. Dry tropics. According to this, they have light and moisture control in some parts of the building. Water lily greenhouse. These flower pots are beautiful. They are intended to be used for exhibition purposes. The symbol is not from Kew Gardens.
dry tropics. There is a smell of burning. The symbol is not from Kew Gardens. A door handle? Why would anyone throw such a thing in the fire? The door handle to the colonial collection and that of the fireplace are made of the same material. The remains of a picture frame. A protective mask. Someone set it alight, but it did not burn. A broom handle was half burned. The plants were set alight fairly recently. Some have not completely burned. Nursery. Seed house. Ventilation system. Dry tropics. Colonial collection. Water lily greenhouse. Palm house. Director's office, cloakroom and laboratory. Reserve. A ventilation system, it should regulate the temperature of the staff buildings. A water tank. Locked. Seed house. Director's office, cloakroom, and laboratory. Nursery. Seed house. Ventilation system. Dry tropics. Water lily greenhouse. Colonial collection. Palm house. Reserve.
a map of Kew Gardens. Seed House. Locked. Nursery. Locked. Locked. Albert told us about the tragic death of Mr. Dunn, the late director of Kew Gardens. Tragic indeed. His heart attack was quite unexpected. Would you unlock the doors for us? Do you expect to find the stolen plants there? I am sorry, but those rooms are private. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. I asked Inspector Lestrade to take Montague Dunn's body to Scotland Yard. It's ready for autopsy then.
a beautiful feather pen of a good make. This watch is of great value. A membership card for the London Crest Club. First of all, let us carry out an external examination. The vessels and the pupil of the eye appear quite normal. There is an injury to the skull, most probably caused by the fall in the water lily greenhouse. The air from the lungs carries a faint floral aroma. Hmm. There are no suspicious marks upon the chest. Let us finish our external examination so that we can proceed with the autopsy. No redness, stings or bruises. Nothing suspicious here. Now, let us examine the internal organs. The heart's blood vessels show no pathological signs. The heart tissue shows no visible pathological signs. The lungs are congested and edematous. The tissue on the inferior lobe of the right lung is damaged, most probably caused by toxins from an unknown plant. The liver is enlarged. It would seem that he was suffering from an alcohol addiction. The liver tissue is brown. There are no visible pathological signs. The stomach tissues show no visible pathological signs. There is a small amount of content. It appears that he breakfasted lightly, only a short while before his death. My suspicions have been substantiated. Montague Dunn, the director of Kew Gardens, died from poisoning, plant poisoning to be more exact. You mean... Yes, it is murder. We should inform Lestrade. Yes, but do remember, Watson, that I discovered the murder. The challenge is mine. The challenge, Holmes? We need to locate that deadly plant. Such a perfect murder appeals to me. Murder of any kind appeals to you. Is that all we need to do? No. We also have the people working at Kew Gardens, Martin Hamish, and the son of the victim, Albert Dunn. And also Miss White, of whom we spoke with Mr. Hamish. Should we bring them all here for interrogation? No. A few innocuous questions at Kew will suffice, as well as a discreet delve into their personal affairs. Yes, Watson, it is time now to open the doors. Even those in the staff building. I suppose that is necessary. We should also be concerned with the victim himself. After all, we don't know very much about Montague Dunn. You're enjoying this already, aren't you? <laughs> More than a little. <laughs>